Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own e-commerce website for free using Equid and Google Sites. So first thing I'm going to show you is my website, my test website. Uh, this is what my website looks like. It's called Shoe Center. I got the domain shoecenter.tk just to show you guys this. And so this is what it looks like. There's like some pictures at the front. I have some like just some things to make this website actually look like a e-commerce website so once you click shop now or you click the shop button it should take you to this shop and here you can see the entire catalog where you can buy your products not actually I'm not actually selling this stuff so you click on it and then it takes you to this where you can select your size I'm gonna select 11.5 and then you can do add to bag and then you can either go to checkout back or back to catalog or just go to your cart so if i click back to catalog i might want to buy more or we can go to the shopping bag and then finally check out with paypal or just use a regular checkout with like a credit card or something So how, how are we going to do this? We're going to go to equid.com and then open our Google site. So after we have both open, we can uh, create our account by clicking get started for free or clicking login. I already have an account with Equid, so I'm going to click login. And here, uh, if you, I think if you created a new account, you should be like you should see this uh basic creation tool for equid like about like what you're selling the domain that you want to choose or whatever so after you finish that go to dashboard and uh you can like go to your website or whatever your main site from here and then what we want to do is add our website to uh, i mean add our catalog to our website so you would want to go to all sales channels overview Scroll down to custom website, click copy code to clipboard. But first I want to customize and actually add products to my catalog. So first let's go to catalog and here, this is where you add all your products. So you would just click add new product and add it. You wouldn't have all of these products already. I've had it. I've had this website for some time now, so I've already created this as a test. So what you want to do is click add new product. Here you can upload any images of your product that you're selling. Here you select the name. I'm going to select N NMD R1. Oh, R1. You can add the SKU number and the weight for shipping. So this is used for determining the shipping prices or whatever so that like it's added money or unless you have free shipping or whatever. Here you put the price and here you put the description of the product. Attributes. So I don't know what this UPC is, but in brand, I know that NMDs are Adidas. And then after you've selected that, you would click options. Oh, and the, then there's this availability and stock control. Stock control is like uh, you have to upgrade in order to get it, but availability you can always enable and disable if it's like whether or not it's available or not. Here you can add an option. Let's say you're selling product and there's different sizes, right? So you would click add a new option, name it size. This is just a test. You can have whatever options you want and then you would click size. Let's say here, make sure this is checked. So do not pre-select default value because if someone forgets to select their size or whatever and they just click checkout it'll select that default value so let's say somebody's a size 8 and it's pre-selected at 11 or something and they click checkout or buy now then it will automatically uh, buy the 11 for the size 8 person so you don't want that here you're gonna add your sizes so add new value let's start from 7 and then from price modifier, so based on the size, you add money or subtract money. So if you want, you can always just leave it at default so there's no change. So let's say if they pick a higher size or something, you can add the cost in a percentage or a currency. And then here you, you would put the price. I'm just going to leave it how it is. 
and then you would add all of the sizes that you are selling and 8.5 so on so after you do that you're gonna go to tax and shipping I think files is you need to upgrade so go to tax and shipping so this product requires shipping or pickup so like are you shipping it to someone or do they have to come pick it up if so then you enable this if not then you disable this in weight and dimensions you would put the weight of it just to determine shipping costs and stuff and then here you can do free shipping or like some rates for the shipping to determine your shipping price then taxes you can set up in your settings I'm not going to be setting up taxes right now SEO is also um, upgrade in order to get it and then here you can add some related products and here you can customize your buy now button for your product I'm going to not add this because I already have my products here so that's what you do you just keep doing that for every single one of your products and that's that's it from here let's customize our catalog so if we were to go to design here this is what it would look like when we embed it you can choose the large image size so this would it, this is what it would look like medium this is what it would look like small small is better for more products in the same category and medium and large are the uh, other two options if you don't have as many products and then landscape 4 by 3 is the image size or aspect ratio I chose because most of my pictures of the products are actually 4 by 3 so let's see if wait hold on yeah so most of these uh, pictures were 4 by 3 so I just put 4 by 3 darken image backgrounds what this does is like darkens the background of the image it does what it says literally and then you can either disable this or enable it but I like to enable it because I have a white background I don't want it blending in with my website and then here I click center content it just looks more professional otherwise like that that's kind of weird and then product card frame this is like this 3d pop-out type thing so if I disable it it just looks like it's in your website but when you enable it it's like 3d pop-out type thing it looks really nice product name I would recommend that you show the product name when you're uh, when somebody's shopping they would probably want to see the product name and the price too SKU number I don't really know but buy now option you can show it on mouse hover but I'm just gonna leave it on do not show main product image so it's this image so if I put do not show it'll just show this And then here in additional product image I would choose do not show you can put it on show on mouse hover so if you have more than one picture for your product then it'll appear when you hover over it so like this then you'll see more than one category name and position I always put hide category names because I'm literally only selling shoes and then in the product page layout I prefer this but you can also choose this where the description is underneath and it's like flipped from this one or it's three different columns like that I like this one though image gallery thumbnails that's this and this this and this so you can either have it vertical so it's like here or full size so you have to scroll to see everything I like horizontal it just looks really nice I didn't change anything in the sidebar and I don't uh, know what like I don't I wouldn't really use the sidebar anyway and then here in the storefront navigation I just left everything the same a uh, footer menu I would show because that's what shows the shopping bag and then sign in link I would put do not show and then from here you can go onto all sales channels scroll down click custom website and then copy code and now you should have a catalog that you can put into your website that looks just like this or however you chose the design to be I'm not gonna insert it I already have it inserted here so I'm just gonna leave it how it is and now let's get to the second part which is creating your Equid website so Equid has its own website creation tool where you can sell your own product 
that you don't embed into your um, own like Google site or whatever you, thing you use so I would click so in order to edit your uh, Equid website you would click website here it'll take you to this page your website and here you can do edit site from here you can change the address settings so where is it available you can put it like shoe center USA or whatever you want here you can set up your own domain uh, I believe this is you need to upgrade in order to use this and then you can change the store name here themes you can choose out of any of these themes there's a lot of themes to choose from um, and they look very professional so that's really cool and then in the site sections there's the headline and cover image uh, you can change this perfection in every shoe I added a logo um, I just found the logo it was royalty free so I just used it and then here you can change the cover layouts to make it look like this 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 or this and then but I prefer this it looks really nice and the background you can change the color so you can add your cover image that that's I have in the background right now I'm gonna use this as an overlay I think it looks kind of cool 50% uh, opacity and you can change whatever you want um, call to action button this is the shop now button so if I turn that off you wouldn't see it you would have to scroll down call to action once you click it it takes you down to your catalog so now let's edit the catalog I recommend you use the same settings as you did to um, embed it into your uh, Google site so just click on the same settings as before company's mission this is my Huarbi it's like completely fake I just tried to make it look real contact information you can use these two things and yeah that's customizing your own website with Equid and embedding it into your own custom website so I hope this helps you uh, create your first e-commerce website and you should be on your way